In this video, we're gonna talk about a few things that's gonna really help you grow your channel and get you those 100,000 subscribers. Okay, so I have three things that you really need to think about to help you grow your channel. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you one hack that's really gonna help you take your channel to the next level. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Jevin Dovey, and I take you behind the lens to teach you the skills you need to become a successful creator. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this. Okay, so before we get into these three things that you really need to think about to grow your channel, I wanna just kinda of go over one thing, and that is you can't focus on the tricks and you can't focus on all these like nuances, little things that you can do that will grow your channel because YouTube is a lot more than just doing tricks to gain followers. If you're always worried about numbers and you're always worried about just trying to do these little hacks to get your followers to grow, then you're not actually going to become a successful YouTuber and your following's not gonna grow because of that. Honestly, a lot of these tricks, a lot of these things that you hear people doing, like putting specific keywords in the title or in the description, or like ranking your videos in specific tags, all of this is good and all of this will help you grow as a creator. However, there's a few things you really have to think about to get yourself over that hump to be able to make these tricks work. And those are the things that we're gonna talk about right now. So the first thing, and the number one thing that you have to remember when you're creating content and becoming a YouTuber is that you have to press record. If you don't press record, if you don't get over that fear of making content, then you're never gonna become successful as a creator. And so that's my big number one thing, and that is you need to get over your fear of pressing record and moving on to the next project. So you just need to start making your content right now. So you need to press record. Fear is one of those things that's gonna hold you back this entire process with all the content that you're creating. If you're worried about what it is that you're creating, then you're never gonna move forward and you're never gonna grow as a creator. So the biggest tip that I'll give you just right off the bat to be able to start this journey and be successful on this journey is to hit record and then from there you edit and then upload and then do it again but you just can't psych yourself out you can't stop the process because when you do that then you're ultimately gonna fail but it all starts with that initial video and hitting record and then doing that again and again and again okay so now that you're creating content and you're doing it on the regular the next step is that you need to get over your fear of trying something new and so what happens with your channel is you'll start getting over the fear of pressing record and you'll make a lot of content. You'll start gaining followers. You'll start getting attention from different people. But the thing that you wanna do is constantly be looking for that thing that challenges you. So what style of video or what specific topic is something that's a little scary to do. Now it's important to look for this and it's important to always be challenging yourself. The biggest issue at first is just pressing record, like I was saying, and just putting yourself out there. Now from there, you need to continue challenging yourself and you need to continue to look for those things that are gonna push you out of your boundaries and out of your comfort zone. So with my channel, when I first started, my first 200 videos I did were all like travel vlogs. I did a few videos here and there that weren't travel vlogs, but that was kind of my comfort zone and that's kind of what I was producing. And it wasn't until I started dabbling in different topics that I started to see more growth on my channel. And I really started to see growth when I pushed myself to doing those specific things that really challenged me. So the videos that I specifically didn't necessarily want to do, but I did wanna do because I knew that it would be a good topic to cover or something that you know would get more interest than the videos that I'm currently doing. So you gotta be constantly looking for things that are gonna challenge you and things that are hard for you to do because when you're creating that content, those end up becoming the videos that will take off on your channel and it will give you a new direction on where to go with your videos. So like I was saying, I was doing a ton of travel vlogs and then what happened was I started doing some drone tutorials and then I realized that I was getting more followers based off my tutorials. So I started to filter in different styles of content that worked within my channel but that were a little scary for me because I was putting myself out there to cover topics that weren't as comfortable for me to cover. However, it ended up working out in the long run because as I started doing these topics, my channel started to grow even faster. And so whenever you come up with an idea and you tell yourself, no, I can't do that because of X, Y, and Z, those are probably the videos that you should be doing and you should be trying. As long as they're within the confines of what YouTube allows you to create, then I would say the things that are scary and the things that are gonna push you beyond your limits, make that content. 
because that's the kind of content that's going to give you an entirely new direction on where you should go with your videos and those end up being the videos that end up growing your channel the most or they're videos that tank. I mean, it goes either way. So one thing for me recently that has been a little bit more scary is doing collabs. And when I first started doing collabs, I was not the most comfortable about meeting up with people that I have never met in person and create a video. But by doing these kind of videos, I've seen massive growth in my channel and it's something that now I'm starting to filter more and more into my channel and just going and meeting with other YouTubers and creating with other creators, that is something that's really helping me grow my channel. So you gotta do those things that it might be nerve wracking. You gotta do those things that you know don't feel as comfortable because in the long run, those are the kind of things that are gonna help you grow your channel more and more. Now my third biggest tip just plays off this and it's kind of something I've been talking about through these last two tips and that is you gotta get out of your comfort zone. But what I mean is that you can't get comfortable with the content that you're creating. So if your channel's growing, if you're getting like 20, 30, 40,000 subscribers and you're making the same content day after day, well that's good and you're gonna continue to see like a steady growth but you wanna look for those times where it feels like you're just kind of creating the same thing over and over because what's gonna happen is you're going to get stagnant and the audience might get bored with the content you're creating. You have to constantly be reinventing yourself and trying new things and just kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit. So as your channel grows, as you start seeing more success and you start getting a little bit bigger, you need to look for when your channel starts flatlining and that means you're just creating the same content day in, day out. It's the same thing over and over. Whatever niche that you're in, you're just creating the same style of content because when that happens, that's a time when you need to try something new and put something interesting on your channel that's a little bit different than the content that you're creating. This is gonna help you drive different directions. And this goes back to my tip number two, which is you know, try things that push you beyond your boundaries because as you push yourself beyond your boundaries, in these moments where your channel is just doing the same thing, that's where you'll see a major spike or a dip depending on what kind of content you end up creating, but it's gonna give you some direction on what to do next. So it'll tell you, make more of this content or it'll tell you, no, this isn't for me but you need to do this to be able to constantly be learning and constantly be knowing where you wanna go with your channel from here instead of doing the same thing day in and day out. And I know these three things aren't like a crazy major hack. They're not something that, you know, I tell you this and you're gonna get 100,000 subscribers right away, but if you keep doing these things and you do them over and over, your channel will grow and it's gonna grow faster and faster as time goes on because you're gonna be constantly reinventing yourself, trying new things, building a new audience, and keeping your followers engaged with the content that you're creating. All right, so the sun just set. It's starting to get a little dark out here, so I've got one huge hack that's gonna help you grow your following to get to 100,000 followers, but one thing I wanna mention before we get into that is that when you're thinking about your channel and the content that you're creating, I really want you to have at most four topics on your channel, four buckets. And what I mean by that is you don't wanna create like a variety channel with all these different styles of content on your channel. You wanna do four things that make sense for your audience and then create videos within that because what happens is when you have kind of four buckets or less, your audience will know what to find on the channel and you'll get more subscribers because you're catering to a specific niche and you're creating content that people will want to watch. So for my channel, the four buckets that I do is I'll do adventure films, which is kind of like my vlogs, or when I go climb like a mountain or something like that, I do like a short film. Now that footage is what I then use for my filmmaking tutorials and camera tutorials. That's my second bucket. My third bucket is camera products and reviews because those are the products that I'm using for my films. And then my fourth bucket is creator training to help you guys become successful creators with the content that you're creating. So everything that I shoot fits within those four buckets and I'm constantly creating content that is in one of those four categories. But for me, I'm constantly trying to try new things and push myself to do different things and that's how I've been able to grow my channel and get it to where it's at today. All right, so I've got one hack for you before the sun sets, losing light here, but YouTube really only cares about watch time. So YouTube wants people to watch your videos for longer and stay on YouTube longer. That's kind of like the whole idea behind how you grow your channel and get YouTube to suggest your videos to other videos on YouTube. At this point, YouTube is suggesting like 70% of videos, so you wanna make sure that YouTube is suggesting your videos. Now one hack as you're growing and as you're building is that when you're suggesting people to go to the next video 
in like a sequence. So say you want to send someone to another one of your videos, which is something that you should do at the end of all your videos. You, sh you should always be sending your viewers to another video because YouTube wants you to basically get people to binge watch content. So what you wanna do is instead of sending people to another one of your videos, you want to send them to a playlist because what will happen is if someone decides they like that video and continue watching, they're gonna watch a bunch of your videos in a playlist. So a huge hack here is basically in all of your videos, instead of sending people to single videos, send them to a playlist because that's gonna drive your watch time up on your channel and it's gonna get YouTube to suggest your content to more people more often, which means that your channel's gonna grow. All right guys, I hope this video was helpful and I'd love to hear your thoughts about these tips down below in the comments and let me know if there's anything you wanna learn about on how to grow your channel and become a successful YouTuber. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one.